Now, let's talk about the DPF. For Terra Pros equipped with a catalyzed DPF, there are two types of regeneration, passive and active. Passive regeneration occurs when exhaust temperatures under normal operation approach 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The process is continual and occurs without any driver or system initiation. Passive regeneration in combination with the SCR significantly reduces the need for active regeneration. Active regeneration is required when the DPF starts to become full and higher exhaust temperatures are required to oxidize or burn off the soot. The system injects fuel into the exhaust to raise the temperature inside the filter to approximately 1157 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature at which active regeneration takes place. A manual regeneration is initiated when the vehicle is safely parked and you press the illuminated DPF smart switch to start an active regeneration. So when the top of the DPF smart switch illuminates, that indicates the need to initiate an active regeneration. To perform a parked regeneration, make sure you are parked in a safe area where there are no combustibles near the exhaust outlet and that the parking brake is applied. Press and hold the upper DPF smart switch for up to four seconds to start the regeneration. You'll notice an increase in idle speed and you'll see the HEST indicator light come on. Once the HEST indicator light goes out, regeneration is complete. Now with ClearTech and a catalyzed DPF, this will be a very rare occurrence, but you do need to monitor the indication and take action before the engine goes into derate. With non-catalyzed DPFs, active regeneration injects fuel and air into the base of the DPF and ignites a small thermal regeneration unit to raise the temperature inside the filter. There are two types of active regeneration, automatic and manual or parked. Automatic regeneration occurs under system command. There is no passive regeneration with non-catalyzed DPFs. So if your Terra Pro is equipped with a non-catalyzed DPF, you'll find that the need for an active regeneration is required a little more often, especially in pre-ClearTech models. With non-catalyzed DPFs, an automatic regeneration can be initiated during PTO operation. No matter what after-treatment system your truck is equipped with, if the light on the switch lights up, either induce an automatic regeneration by driving at high speeds or perform a parked regeneration. Mac engines equipped with a DPF, including ClearTech, require the use of ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel and EOO Premium Plus specification diesel engine oil. Using any other fuel or oil will drastically reduce performance, possibly to the point where the engine will not run at all. On the back of the sun visor, there should be a decal that lists the SCR and DPF information and the actions required of you, the driver. All right, let's walk through the different DPF regeneration levels and the actions required of you, the driver, as indicated on the decal on the back of the sun visor. These indications and actions are the same for both catalyzed and non-catalyzed DPFs. A solid amber regeneration indicator on the DPF smart switch indicates level 1. This means that the DPF is becoming full. You can initiate an automatic regeneration by driving at highway speeds or stop at a safe location to perform a parked regeneration. A flashing amber regeneration indicator on the DPF smart switch indicates level 2. This means that the DPF is full and regeneration is required. Again, you can initiate an automatic regeneration by driving at highway speeds. But if this indicator is flashing, this is the point to perform a parked regeneration, especially if you know there will not be enough open road or high RPM operation for an automatic regeneration. Do it at this point before the soot level becomes critical and the engine derates. 
a flashing amber regeneration indicator in combination with the amber electronic malfunction light indicates level 3. This means that the DPF is over full and engine performance is reduced and will derate. An automatic regeneration is not possible in this case. You will need to pull over immediately and safely perform a parked regeneration. This is why you want to be sure to do the regeneration no later than the level 2 indications. Level 4 is a state you really want to avoid. The flashing regeneration indicator in combination with the stop engine light means that the soot level in the DPF is critically high and a serious engine or DPF problem has occurred. There is severe engine derate and you must stop the vehicle as soon as possible and seek service immediately. The DPF smart switch in your vehicle may include a DPF inhibit option on the lower part of the switch. This is so that regeneration can be stopped if the vehicle is in a hazardous location for active regeneration. If equipped, push the lower part of the DPF smart switch to the stop regeneration position. The DPF inhibit indicator will illuminate and regeneration will be stopped until the switch is pushed back to the enable position. But do not leave the DPF inhibited for extended periods. Regeneration will not occur and you will find your engine derating and ultimately needing service. If you run into any operational issues out on the road, call Mac One Call at 1-800-866-1177. This completes our overview of the basics of operating your Mac Terra Pro. This is really only the first step in safely and efficiently operating your vehicle. If you have any questions, consult the operator's manual. Thanks for watching and drive safely.